Without diminishing our recent successes in the fight against al-Qaeda, we have to face the fact that we have marginalized or eliminated some of the very tools and counterterrorism strategies that led to their success. It's no secret that I'm a staunch critic of the administration's detention and interrogation policies, or lack thereof, and its refusal to detain and interrogate terrorists as opposed to trying to kill them. Now, the only way that they have sought to detain and interrogate a terrorist is if they can prosecute a terrorist in an Article III court or a federal court within the United States. This administration's prosecute first mindset and unreasonable insistence on closing Guantanamo Bay are depriving our intelligence community of valuable and timely information that could be used to stop the next attack or capture an explosive expert like Ibrahim al Asiri in Yemen. The CIA's detention and interrogation program was sidelined mostly because of the enhanced interrogation techniques and questions about their morality. This is misplaced focus. The value of the CIA's program was not in any specific technique. It was in, the, in being able to detain and interrogate detainees for lengthy periods of time without worrying about court dates or defense attorneys and being able to use information from one detainee in interrogations with other detainees.